I have always had this sense of why not me or just wait, let me try. I was never babied. I was never treated like I was made of glass. If I fell down, I had to figure out how to get up and my family really gave me this sense of fight. I'm Katie Sullivan. I am an actress and a Paralympic athlete. I was born disabled. I had the incredible fortune to be born to a set of parents that didn't see my circumstance as something to be hidden or to be ashamed of. I grew up in a medium-sized town in Alabama where there definitely wasn't a community for me having a limb difference. I did sort of feel like an alien at times. I can't tell you the number of times that someone would come up to me outside of the theater and just say, I have never seen anyone who looks like me on this stage. And to be honest, I never saw anybody that looked like me on Broadway or on TV until I was on Broadway and on TV. I am nominated for a Tony Award for my role in Cost of Living at Manhattan Theatre Club. My half of the piece is a husband and wife who are separated, and she has gone through a really traumatic accident. It's not about disability, it's about relationships. With a piece like this that matters so much, I think you just sort of hope that you've made enough of a wave in the world and like made enough noise that people really can go, that matters, we need to pay attention to that. I think it's a dream of every actress to walk down the red carpet and have people say, who are you wearing? And being able to say custom Christian Siriano is just a pinch me. He truly looks at fashion in an inclusive way. So when I found out that I was gonna get to work with him, I was absolutely over the moon. Being the first amputee to ever be nominated for a Tony was such a huge part of my story and of this historic moment that the custom dress is designed to accentuate that. The bodice is black and there's gray tulle. I keep saying it gives me robot ballerina vibes. Futuristic feminine is kind of my aesthetic. You can either embrace what you walk around with every day or you can hide it and I feel taking something hard like metal and turning it on its ear and making it sexy is really what I try to do. Katie's prosthetic leg, her thigh is black. And so with the black bustier on her Christian Siriano dress, this mimics the corset and her diamond earrings. I had to contact a cobbler about footwear for someone that has prosthetics who was able to make sure that Katie can walk safely in it, which is accessible, easy to put on and take off, smart for her health, and absolutely gorgeous. What was important for me was for Katie to wear the look and not for the look to wear Katie. I was on My Name is Earl, Last Man Standing, NCIS New Orleans, a show called Legit, and most recently was on the new Dexter, New Blood. The changes that I have seen for performers with disabilities from the kind of role I was playing towards the beginning of my career, where disability was a bit more of the object, something that was like, oh, a very special episode of, you know, fill in the blank cut to where I was shooting Dexter. She was a woman who was a gossip and had a job and the disability part of it was not a plot point. We never even talked about it. And I actually asked the showrunner at one point why. He said, I just really wanted for this show to look like the real world. It's nice to see little light posts along the way that that's where we're headed. The idea of being an athlete was so out of the realm of possibility. I did not run until I was 25 years old. I was given a pair of blades. I happened to be quick. So I competed in the London 2012 Paralympic Games. I just ran the 100 meters, finished sixth in the world, and I set an American record that day. It was just one of those moments in life where you can't believe where you are. Standing at the starting line in front of 80,000 people, nothing intimidates me anymore. <laughs> Doing an audition in front of four people, that is no longer intimidating. I've always looked at the idea of can't is a four letter word because there are gonna be plenty of people that tell you no constantly and people wanting to tell you that you can't accomplish what it is that you've set out to accomplish. But if you can take those instances and 
look at them as someone's opinion instead of fact, that is a beautiful place to start from. And just believe in yourself because you know what you can and cannot do.